Hi guys, happy Halloween, welcome to the video. Just a quick reminder before we get into the vlog, this is the last day that you'll be able to enter my 10K subscriber giveaway. You'll be seeing this video on Thursday the 31st of October and voting closes on Friday the 1st of November. So I wish you all the best. Once again, thank you so much for getting me to 10,000 subscribers. I really appreciate all the support on the channel. To enter the competition, head over to my Instagram page at jackblake underscore 94. There will be a post on there that will be the 10K subscriber giveaway. If you like the post and then in the comment section, tag three friends. You'll then be automatically entered into the competition to win a signed Real Monarchs jersey and also a brand new pair of Adidas boots. So good luck if you are entering and let's get straight on into the vlog. Welcome to the video once again. Uh, it is Friday the 25th of October. It's the night before our first playoff game in 2019. The season's gone so quick, it feels like it was yesterday that we were starting pre-season. Um, we've been working hard all season to make sure we got our home playoff game. and We finally got it and it's tomorrow against Orange County. The kickoff is 1 p.m. The reason I'm starting the vlog now is because it's a one o'clock kickoff, so slightly earlier. So I want to show you more of my game day preparation. And part of that starts the night before. So if those of you that don't know, the USL Championship, the way the playoffs work is the top 10 teams in both the West and the East Conference uh, make the playoffs. The 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th teams have a playoff game against each other. So 7th will host 10th and 8th will host 9th and that will then determine the final eight in both conferences. So this year in our league, Sacramento finished seventh, uh, New Mexico finished 10th, and they played on Wednesday night, uh, Sacramento won 2-1, and Austin Bold finished eighth, and LA Galaxy 2 finished ninth. Uh, Austin beat LA 2-0 at home. So that means that Austin and Sacramento make the final eight of the playoffs, and because we finish fourth, that means we host a playoff game. So the top four host and five, six, seven, eighth uh, are on the road. Now, as I've said before on my channel, there's a huge advantage to playing at home. You know, not having to travel the distance across the country, also being familiar in our own routines. And so to get that home playoff game was a big achievement for us. And hopefully tomorrow um, we can get through to the, the second round, which will be the semi-final. And then you play the final in your conference and then the West finalist, sorry, the, the winner of the West and the winner of the East play against each other in a, in a grand USL final. So that's the plan. That's the, the hopes of the team. Um, I think that we're more than capable of doing that. So I'm going to take you through my whole preparation starting with this evening into tomorrow morning. And I just can't wait to get the show on the road. So I'm going to show you my pre-match evening meal. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you at dinner. So here we have it. We have spaghetti bolognese. So those of you from Europe, especially England, will know what this is. Other countries, you might know what it is, but it's basically beef mince. Um, we've got extra lean beef mince with some mushrooms in there, some red onion, some canned tomatoes, and I'm having it with some chickpea pasta. I like to have the beef uh, mince the night before the game because it's got a lot of good vitamins and minerals in it. So it's got high in vitamin B6 and B12, which is good for like blood circulation, uh, and then also iron for energy. And then having it with a little side salad. Here's wifey's. So believe it or not, I actually cooked this from scratch. Uh, how would you rate me out of 10 as a cook? 10 out of 10. Thank you. Shit, I told her to say that. Um, and then with this, I'm having my usual supplements that I have, so calcium, uh, all different kinds of vitamins, fish oils. So yeah, gonna sit and enjoy this. Uh, catch up with you later. Heading to bed now, but before I do, I'm having a cup of tea. So I'm having a organic nighty night tea. <laughs> Basically what this is, is just chamomile tea. So it's organic chamomile tea, and what that does, it helps to relax you. Um, obviously with the playoff game looming tomorrow, it's 
you know, it can be fairly stressful, you know, a lot of pressure on the game. Um, my mind's constantly thinking about it. I'm really looking forward to it, as I've already said 10 times in this vlog so far. Um, so yeah, this is just gonna help calm, you know, calm the nerves, calm the mind and allow me to get a good night's sleep and wake up tomorrow feeling refreshed. So that's the plan. I'm gonna be heading to the gym in the morning just to do something light, light stretch. Um, as you've seen before on one of my previous game day vlogs and gonna have breakfast in the morning and then pretty much head to the game. So I'm gonna hit the hay now and I'll see you in the morning. morning. Morning guys, 20 past seven in the morning. Big man having his milk, watching the pram. Perfect start to the day. Um, to be honest, didn't sleep too well last night. Um, I got in bed at about 10 and then finally got down about half 10, quarter to 11. And then yeah, I got at least eight hours sleep, but obviously with the game today, I uh, was thinking about it, having a few crazy, crazy dreams, not gonna lie, um, good ones. But uh, yeah, did, didn't sleep the best, but um, I'm glad that I'm up now because I can start drinking water and prepare mentally and just, just relax a little bit now. So I'm gonna spend some time with Big Man and then, yeah, gonna, gonna head to the gym in, in an hour or two. All right, leaving for the gym now. Um, nine o'clock in the morning. Um, gonna go through my routine of the usual game day prep routine of heading to the gym. Gonna have a cycle, a little bit on the cross trainer, and then maybe a little bit of just dynamic static stretches. Uh, because the kickoff's one o'clock today, I'm not gonna go through too much and do too much in the gym. Um, it's different when it's 7 p.m. kickoff, but because it's a 1 p.m. kickoff, it's slightly less time in between waking up and getting ready for the game. So I'm not going to do too much, just wake up the muscles a little bit, get the blood flowing. I'll see you guys in the gym. Just finishing the gym now, heading back home, 9.30. Uh, it was about three and a half hours before kickoff. So I'm gonna make some breakfast as soon as I get back. I usually just have one meal um, before the game when it's a one o'clock kickoff. Some players prefer 7 p.m. kickoffs, some players prefer 1 p.m. kickoffs. I myself really like the 1 p.m. kickoffs. You know, to wake up, not have to wait around all day, get to play the game earlier in the day. And uh, yeah, that's just my preference. You know, one game of the season, we lose, it's our last, game of the 2019 season we win hopefully we go through to the next round so we've been fighting all year working really hard all year to get ourselves the home playoff game we've got the home playoff game and really excited to see what happens now uh, we have a fantastic squad some really good players and I just can't wait to get the game going so about to walk in the house now gonna make some breakfast I'll see you guys in the kitchen There we have it, the pre-match meal. So it's extremely important for me to eat completely natural foods before a game, uh, especially a game of this importance as well. And with the playoff game, it can go to extra time and penalties too. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna bring a snack with me to take to the game um, in case that does happen to give extra fuel, extra energy. We do get provided with cereal bars, fruit, all the snacks we need. Um, but I also like to come prepared for, with my own stuff as well. Gonna eat this and then pretty much get a shower, get changed and head to the stadium. 
So about to leave for the game now. Uh, it's almost 10:30, so we've got to be at the stadium at 11. Um, opted for the suit, nice and smart for the playoffs. And Leo, yeah, come show everyone. It's Halloween night at the club tonight, so Mr. Skeleton, wow! And then Stan's got his little Halloween bandana on. Um, so yeah, about to leave for the stadium now. I'm not going to be able to get as much footage, obviously, at the game. Um, because we're doing, we're there to do a job, it's business, so I'm not going to be filming too much. I'm um, probably going to stop filming now and uh, hopefully we get the win and we advance the next round of the playoffs. So I'm uh, really looking forward to the game, can't wait to get going. Ryan. Yes, sir. How are we feeling after today's game, before today's game, mate? Feeling good, lad. Feeling good. I hope we play good as good as we look. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Matthew Rodman and Brad Jensen as we're underway. Monarchs are going to be moving from left to right across your screen. Orange County and they're all whites. Shot towards goal. It's going to go across the face, still in the area. Schmidt collects, finds Chang. Chang, shot, goal! About placement and accuracy. Breaks off the shoulder right there of Christian Duke. He's going to race forward. Hume deals with it roughly. Chang inside the 18. Michael Chang cuts back. Can he find Martinez? Martinez, goal! Stake from Walker Hume. Give all the credit to Michael Chang. As the big old center back hesitates, not really sure where the Cuban attacker is. Quickly taken. Duke. Ball played inside the box, looking for Hume. Hume heads it down. Back post. Opportunity and a goal! A beautiful goal by Orange County as they pull one back here in the 35th. Oh, Michael Orozco scissors at the back post, but bigger questions is why. The big center back is completely unmarked by Real Monarchs. Fantastic goal from the 31-year-old. Incredible amount of technical ability to go full side volley bike on that. Monarchs with a 2-1 lead do not want to get to that point. But Brayden Cloutier throwing it all forward, seeing if he can change the outlook of this game. Right, and, and, and immediately you change the momentum. By the way, Forrester just dragged his cleats on the head of the player doing it on purpose. He knows exactly what he's doing. Forrester sitting on the yellow in the 40th minute. And the fourth official with our center referee and a red card shown. Orange County is going to play the rest of this half down a man. Uh, I'll tell you what, again, Landon, I, I saw it immediately. Uh, I saw it immediately. He knew exactly what he was doing. Somebody else has it. Somebody else can cover me. Schmidt, he's inside the 18. Tate Schmidt trying to put it across goal. Bouncing still inside the area. Jack Blake! I think important role at times for Real Salt Lake. Opportunity coming. Schmidt inside the box. Tate Schmidt. Goal! Getting on the end of this ball from Michael Chang. Watch him recalibrate and take this side volley. That gives you the best indication of kind of what they're trying to do. Portillo. He'll put it inside the box. Eric Another Holt. one! Eric Holt! It's, it's just really, really poor, poor decision-making. Oh, the importance of a win, but also a statement win, Landon. Uh, th th this will send, not shockwaves by any means, but it will be, oh, here we go, here's an opportunity. Jack Blake! Jack Blake! Watch this. Oh, poor Aiden Quinn. And then just picks out that far post. have run away with this one here in the second half yeah it, it, it'll 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 up their chances they won't ah what a great goal Seton from gets Seton. one back what a great goal from Seton this type of fight this type of grit 
you should be happy with the way that these guys represented the badge in the second half. And the county line coalition has supported them strong all season long. We just got finished talking to Chang, who, I mean, the vision that guy has on the field, just what is it like playing alongside him? Yeah, Chang, Chang's a good friend of mine. He's uh He's a fantastic guy on and off the field. Um, you know, you can see when he's playing in our games, the effect he has, you know, on the people around him and, and the team. And uh, yeah, his statistics speak for himself this year. And um, but yeah, it's not just him; it's the whole team. We're a, we're a collective group. Um, I think we've over the last month or so, we've really come together, built some momentum, and we got what we deserve tonight uh, today. The form heading into the postseason, I don't think you could ask for a better situation with just the way you guys have been playing. Can you speak to the confidence of this group right now and what it means for you guys going forward? I, uh, I don't think I've ever played in a team that has as, as much confidence or momentum as we do right now. You know, to go and, and look at the schedule that we had at the, the, the last five, six, six games. Top yeah, top teams. And, uh, you know, to come out and get fantastic results. Like I said, we, we, we put all the hard work in all season. You know, it's a credit to the coaches, everyone involved, the staff, and everyone's come together and the performance speaks for itself. I mean, you can tell how bought in everyone is on both sides of the ball. Tate Schmidt with a goal line clearance. Eric Holt putting in the work on the other side, getting that goal. You with two goals tonight. How much did this one mean to you, given the way things played out last year, the heartbreak of not going through, getting the playoff win? I think everyone that was involved last year felt this one. Um, I'm so proud of the boys. Uh, you know, like I said, the hard work we put in, we put in day in, day out. No one takes any days off. It's just we've been grinding all year and, and we're getting what we deserve. This is the best time of the year, playoffs. Just lastly, do you care who you guys face in the next round? I said to the boys before the game, I don't care who we play. We have the capability of beating anyone. Um, it'd be nice to go back to Phoenix and beat them again. Awesome. Thank you. Congrats and congrats on the fabulous goals tonight. Thank you very much. Yes! Oh! Wow, what a win. Absolutely incredible feeling. Um, as a team, we made history tonight. We, we were the first real Monarchs team to get through the first round of the playoffs. So that's a special feeling. To get two goals, a special feeling. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a bit lost for words at the moment. You know, to beat a team 6-1 in the, in the playoffs is, is no easy feat. You know, all the teams that make it through the playoffs are really good teams. Orange County are a really good team. So, uh, yeah, I can't describe how I'm feeling right now. I think I'm going to probably have to video later to explain more about how I'm feeling. Um, but, yeah, leaving the stadium now. Um, I've posted the highlights on this video uh, once again. I hope you've all really enjoyed seeing uh, what it's like to prepare for a playoff game. As you can see from my build-up, it was... You know, I probably was a little tense, a little nervous, but then as soon as we step on the field, you know, all the nerves and everything goes away. And as a team, we perform so well. I'm so proud of the boys. We're going to be watching more of the playoffs later from the league. Uh, there's games that Phoenix play, Austin, so the winner of that will play. So we're going to be watching more games later. I'll catch up with you later on at the house. Back at home now. Um, still can't put into words how happy I am. Um, celebrating with the exact same dinner I had last night. <laughs> Spaghetti bolognese, a bit of salad and also chamomile tea. Uh, it's extremely important after every game to refuel, you know, especially the fact that we have another game next week now. Uh, we've made it through the next uh, round of the playoffs, which was the main goal of today. So it's really important to refuel, eat some really good food and just help my muscles recover quicker. I'm watching I'm watching the Rowdies game, uh, my old team, Tampa Bay Rowdies. They're playing against Louisville. Leo down here with Wifey and Stan. I'm going to finish watching this game. And then that's basically going to be it for the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing the game day preparation again um, for a playoff game. And I'll see you guys on the next video.